Okay, we're getting it all organised here, guys. This is a bit different show. I've actually got Trevor here from uh, Coil Tech. How you going, Dave? Very, very well. Thank you for dropping in, Trevor. Thanks G'day. for having me. Yep, absolutely. G'day, Jonathan. Uh, hello, Ken. Ken's in the house. Uh, Steve's in the house. Steve Brown, welcome. Uh, Stumpy Picks uh, getting there. G'day, Craig. Uh, look, we're nearly there now. Um, I've got to say good uh, g'day to Trevor Goonan there on, on YouTube. Good to have another Trevor in the house. Yep, that's uh, great. Um, uh, the uh, G'day, Walter. Uh, this is a little bit different, guys. So, g'day, Matty. How you going? Matty Hahn there. Uh, Frank, uh, welcome. Uh, we're Coin just... Tector, welcome. Uh, I saw your post on YouTube there, Coin Tector, about the 10 by 5 uh, Equinox coil, the Knox. Yep, that's perfect. Uh, uh, hello, Corey, obviously. G'day, Christine. Uh, nearly got everything organised here. We've just got a little bit more to go before uh, we know that uh, everything is right. So we're actually coming to you tonight from the Adelaide store. G'day, uh, Lizard, Aaron, Bill, welcome. 120 down under, g'day, thanks for joining in. We've got Trevor P.I. No, no, Trevor P.I., excellent. Yes. Well, Trevor's in the house. And Michael and uh, Don. Look, I reckon we're just about ready to uh, roll with the show now. Welcome to the Mind Lab Show. Uh, this is the Australia's most informative prospecting live stream. It's the place where you'll get all the tips, tricks and super deals you need for your next gold prospecting or treasure hunting adventure. And what a show we've got to you tonight. Trevor from Caltech has popped in to co-host and he's going to tell us all about his exciting new GPX 6000 coils. Gold Hawk coils. G'day Trevor. How Welcome. you going Dave? Thanks Excellent. for having Thank me. You. We're super excited. We've got the release. Uh, tomorrow's the official on sale date, the 28th of July. Uh, the three new coils for the GPX 6000. As I said, we're super excited. The coils are going great. Appreciate you having me on. That's great, and thank you again. You've brought in some of your Coltec merchandise to give away, so it's fantastic. Yep. We've got another side here. And, of course, we're also going to have uh, several of our usual segments, including a great tech tip from our resident uh, MindLab tech, Nathan, an update on all of our competitions, and there's lots of them running. And uh, we're going to see what the Coffee Bush kids found. Lots, lots more. I'm Gold Digger Dave. Let's get digging. There's nothing like the sound of gold under the coil When I'm out there swinging my detector That signal's so sweet when I hear that beep beep Couldn't think of many things better There's nothing like the sound of gold under the coil When I'm out there swinging my detector Well, the price of gold there this week is, uh, well, it's nothing really to ride home about. Uh, the price is currently floating around about the $2,470 per troy ounce. That's nearly 80 bucks uh, less than what it was uh, a week ago. Obviously, the price of gold is getting a bit of a shake-up at the moment, and let's hope it starts to turn around soon. As always, uh, we'll keep you posted on the MindLab show as we go through this turbulent time when it comes to the price of gold. Now look, uh, we've got lots of events and everything and we've had a huge show in Sydney. Uh, that was a national 4x4 show last week at Sydney Olympic Park with many people dropping in and taking the opportunity to pick up some fantastic deals on the whole range of MindLab world-class metal detectors. As well as the smashing deals, people who purchased the Equinox 800 were given a free training session and all learnt the basics of using their new equipment and scored a few goldies to kick off their new hobby. Number two was on site and uh, some took the chance to grab a selfie or two and enter the competition to win gift voucher for the use of any of the Miners Den MyLab Metal Detector Superstores. 
As usual, uh, my lab was on the stand, and a big thank you to Sonia and James who are able to answer some of your more curly questions. <coughs> Here's a few pics, obviously, from the stand there that we've had up, and um, uh, our next stop on the events calendar this month, and it's actually kicked off now, is Adelaide for the Adelaide Caravan and Camping Show. Now, we have a bunch of my lab experts on the stand to chat with people, and again, clear up those difficult questions. The Adelaide Caravan and Camping Show. It's on at Adelaide Showgrounds, 27th uh, of Wednesday to 27th of uh, July, through to Sunday, the 31st of July. The time's 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the gate. Uh, 19 bucks will get adults in the door. If you've got a concession, $16, in you come. Children 16 and under are free with a paying adult. Now don't forget also that any metal detector purchased through the Miners Den MyLab Metal Detector Superstores or online at minersden.com.au automatically gets you an entry into our cash bonanza where you could win the price, well what you paid, for your new detector back in cash. Now that kind of excludes the accessories and things guys, but um, look, if you bought a 6000 and you pay us uh, 7999 which is a going price, you could win all that dough back. Of course, if you've bought a new machine, the next lot of training sessions coming up for uh, in Bendigo on Sunday the 30th and 31st of July. Uh, they've had a massive response to these uh, from our customers with the sessions all filled up. We've added additional sessions in for the Sunday and it also got booked out, so that was for the 6,000 from 1 to 4 p.m. Uh, Saturday the 30th of July, uh, we've got the SDC training, uh, Saturday the 30th uh, in the afternoon, Saturday the 30th in the afternoon, 1 to 4 p.m., the GPZ 7000 training, uh, of course, uh, 31st of July, 9 a.m. till 12 p.m., and again in the afternoon, the GPX 6000. Look, how, how about just uh, released, we've however just released the dates for the August sessions in Bendigo, so if you head online, you'll be able to pick those up. It's uh, not too long now till we hit the next lot of sessions in New South Wales, and we know there is a severe lack of expert training in New South Wales, but it should give you enough time still to plan ahead and get Australia's best training on the mid to high end mine lab gold prospecting detectors. So the dates coming up there is uh, Saturday the 13th of August, 9 to 12. You've got the 2300. Uh, we've got spots left in that, I believe. Saturday the 13th of August again, 1 to 4 p.m. GPZ 7000, and there's some spots left in there. On Sunday the 14th of August, we've also got uh, 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 GPX 6000 training that kicks off at 9 a.m. goes through till uh, the 12 p.m. So uh, if you're in New South Wales. We know you need to get some training. Miners Den, the Mine Lab experts, are training people out at Waddle Flat there. So simply head to minersden.com.au and click the training tab. Select the session that you would like to attend and fill in your details. If you're using the free sessions, please enter the code free training. Next, you'll need to enter your receipt number from the purchase into the field. Done. You're all booked. And we look forward to catching up with you. If you bought a detector from elsewhere, don't despair. Miners Den MyLab certified training is still available for a small fee. Simply head to minersden.com.au slash, well, forward slash training and complete the booking form. If payments require, one of our friendly staff will contact you uh, to collect your payment. You're all booked too, and we look forward to showing you how to use, correctly use your new MyLab metal detector. Miners Den, the MyLab experts. Well, uh, continue on the events for this month. Uh, once again, we've uh, already run a demo day this month, but the Miners Den exclusive. Mine Lab Metal Detector Demo Days have been a great way for budding prospectors or treasure hunters to learn a little more about the hobby and see what types of equipment's available. These sessions are free and they go through a whole range of Mine Lab world leading detectors as well. Uh, it'll give you the price points, any special features of each unit may have. Once the sessions are completed at the local park, or if you're in Bendigo out in the gold fields, you will have a better understanding of the hobby and what machine you may wish to use. A short walk back to the store and you'll find a sausage on the barbecue and a team of well-trained MyLab experts to assist you. Who knows, we may even get you out and about digging some holes. On the day, there'll be exclusive deals to get you the best price on all the gear you need for your adventure. 
Don't forget to grab a selfie with number two and enter our competition to win your share of $1,000 worth of gift vouchers to any of the Minest End MindLab metal detector superstores or online at MindestEnd.com.au. Now, of course, uh, the next session is on uh, in the Minest End metal detector superstores in Adelaide, Bendigo, Mitcham in Melbourne and Penrith in Sydney on Saturday the 17th of September. Now look, the sessions kick off at 10.30 uh, at the store and look if you can roll up about 15 minutes beforehand so we can get everything underway and get you the best information, perfect. To attend all you need to do is head to minusden.com.au and hit the events tab or use the link in the feed. Okay, so that's all about uh, our prospecting news uh, this evening. So we're going to bring back um, Trevor now. We're going to have a bit of a look at our product spotlight tonight, Trevor. Dave. Um, we're featuring your new Goldhawk series coils. And look, they're nearly ready to be released. And uh, you're going to give us a bit of a run through on some of the features and advantages of the new GPX 6000 coils. Yeah, for sure. Um, certainly these coils are, are very excited to bring these to you. Uh, people have been waiting these for these for a while. Um, basically, um, they have a um, really good construction. They're very strong. Uh, we've made them quite robust. Um, they come with a two-year warranty, so you can just register your warranty on our website. Uh, it's got a skid plate attached. Skid plates are very important to keep them on there because it protects the insides of your coils. Uh, they are a consumable, so they are replaceable, so if you do need more, just contact your dealers. Um, we do have high-grade Litz wire inside the coils as well, which is making the coils operate at their optimum. Uh, the wing design is very strong to minimise coil flex and any damage. The, the coils are made out of an ABS plastic, a merino colour plastic, so they're very uh, durable, made to endure different uh, environments from hot to cold. Sometimes they can be in cars, you know, quite hot, and then people take them into the water, so they can have quite a quick um, temperature change. Yep. So the ABS plastic helps with that. Um, there's a polycarbonate sticker on the top. That polycarbonate sticker will stay nice and look great for years to come. And very important when you're um, putting all your little nuggets around to take a photo for our latest discoveries competition. So, so yeah, solid, really solid label. So it's not going to wear if you're putting nuggets on or scratching right, or anything scratching like that. Scratching it, you yep. know. Everyone does this, you know, um, making sure that they're checking for their nuggets. So when the scoop goes over it, any any dirt or anything, it won't wear out your uh, good-looking label. So uh, whenever you take photos with it and send them in, it's great for Dave or for us. It's excellent. Um, we also have a, a pressure regulating pad that's. In there. So in the coils themselves, there's actually a small little hole on the side. That hole is for uh, pressure, re pressure regulation for air differential from outside to inside to minimise any swelling of the coil. Um, that is also um, very waterproof and dustproof. So in those environments where you have water and dust around, that hole won't let that get into the coil. So you're perfectly safe, so it's still waterproof. The 10 by 5 uh, weighs 575 grams, thereabouts, and it's a beautiful coil for tight areas. So if you're in overgrown areas, if you're in rocky areas like rock bars, or if the vegetation's growing up quite quick, like here in Australia at the moment, it's quite uh, wet, so obviously we've got a lot of vegetation growing. Perfect to sort of get in and around those bushy, bushy areas and the rocks to, to look for that little nugget that might just be out the reach of the 11 inch. Yeah, well, you do find that, and um, that's one thing that uh, the 11 inch coil from my lab's a great coil, and this is Absolutely. not actually going to replace the, the use of that coil. No, no, that's right. But yeah. it's going to help you get into those tighter areas. That, uh, mm. you, well, you can still poke your 11 in, you can probably sniff out a couple of extra nuggets in, un, in under the scrub with the, right. the 10 by 5. So the 11 being 11 inch round, it will get stuck in some areas where there's quite close rocks or some vegetation and as you can see this one will get in between that and there could be a little nuggy just waiting there for you to uh, to be picked up by this coil so this isn't like you said to replace the 11 inch the 11 inch has been a fantastic coil we hear of fantastic reports about that this essentially is to give you another tool for your kit for your detecting kit 
So uh, you can go out there and find and optimise your opportunity and find more gold, hopefully. So um, yeah, very good one, that one. Uh, then we have a nine inch round. So this is another no uh, round coil in the series. It's one of my personal favourites. I'm looking forward to hearing how you go with it, Dave, back in Bendigo when you get back there after you're trekking around. That's it. Um, I can't wait actually to get out and run all of these coils. I know you've been yeah. kind enough to send us over a couple to uh, have a run with. Uh, demos. I just haven't been uh, around to do it yet, but it will, it will happen in the next week or so. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to that report. Uh, we have some demos out there already and the coils are starting to hit the dealers at the moment. So tomorrow being release day, you can get out there. If you've got one on order, go check them out. Uh, this 9-inch coil is one of my personal favourites though. It's superbly weighted, 700 grams. Beautiful balance. Uh, it gives you optimum um, depth and sensitivity. So you're not losing a lot of depth with this one, uh, but the sensitivity is heightened and uh, it, it operates beautifully. Um, very smooth, minimal touch sensitivity. Very well balanced coil. Good on the good on the six thousand. What a fantastic machine. And coupled with this, you you can't go wrong. Perfect. Like you said, it's another bit of arsenal in your kit with that one. And I think there's yep. another one you've got. Uh, there is also about here. Here it is, the fourteen by nine. So this is the largest of the three that we're doing. Um, this one weighs around 900 grams, but is still very well balanced. And as you can see, being 14 inches, um, the 11 inch will come up a little bit short. Yep. So this one's going to be good for coverage, more open areas, and it will still have good depth and uh, sensitivity capabilities. So um, these are still finding 0.03s, 04 um, gold okay. nuggets, which That's is very small gold. Okay. It's very small. You blow on it and it's gone. That's so right. you need to really make sure that you don't blow too hard. So um, really small gold. It can find the big ones too. Uh, Rick Fisher's our ambassador for Coral Tech over in WA. He found a 6.5 ounce nugget with this one. Um, so it was about 400 millimetres or 40 centimetres deep. So it wasn't very deep, but this one actually allowed him to get in between the bush where the thing was laying to, to try and find that. So because yeah. of that nose could get in that's right. That's, that, that's the advantage of the uh, elliptical yeah. shaped coils, and yep. uh, it goes to complement the round coils that Mind Lab have with the machine. That's right. And uh, there wouldn't be any reason why you couldn't have one or two of these in your kit to uh, give you that little bit of an advantage over, uh, well, the people who are just using standard coils. That's right. And if, if you're using a standard coil and you're wondering why you should get another one, it's because um, not every coil, not one coil will do everything for you. So um, the 11 inch has been fantastic, great depth, great sensitivity, um, good balance, uh, very good good coil, um, but by using a different coil you're looking at a different window of gold out there. You're actually seeing different gold to what the 11 can do. This one will, will see different gold to say the 10 by 5 because it's a bit bigger, less sensitive, where this one's more sensitive. Uh, it's a bit like your tool kit for in your garage or whatever. You're not, you haven't got one tool to do everything. You've got the right tools for the right jobs. So having a different coil in your kit is essential if you want to maximise that ground. Yeah, well, look, well look, that's, uh, that's an extensive list, really, and uh, okay, like I said, I can't wait when I get back to Benedict and get out and have a run with them. Um, look, next up, Trevor, we've got our resident uh, mine lab technician, Nathan, uh, who's going to pop in with a, uh, a tech tip uh, on updating your software, and we'll come back and catch up with you for a bit more information on this brand new range of Goldhawk uh, coils from Coiltech. Looking forward to it. G'day, I'm Nathan from MinersZen, and tonight's tech tip is updating the Equinox 800. So you're going to need the Equinox yourself, you're going to need the charging cable, you're going to have to plug the charging cable into your computer's USB port, and then plug this into the Equinox's charging port, and then turn the Equinox on. Now we'll find the um, updating software, and we'll have a look. Now what we'll need to do is we'll need to find the, the um, Equinox updating software. So we're going to, need to go to Google, look up MineLab Equinox, 800 update and it should be the first one there we go software update 3.0 we'll go to mine labs website and we'll scroll down and if you've got a, depending on whether you've got windows or a mac since i've got windows i'll go equinox update utility windows we'll click on that one should start to download down the bottom here and then what we'll do is all i'm going to do is i'm going to copy it onto my desktop now now i've got this here i can get out of that so now we've got the MineLab update utility for the Equinox. We'll open him up. It's going to wait a minute. It's going to once it connects. There we go. It's found my Equinox since I've already plugged it in and turned it on. And now I can install the new updates. So I can go install like that. And if I give it a minute, um, it will start to update and install the updates for the Equinox.
patiently, there we go, now that we've waited patiently, our Equinox should be just about updated. That's the sound of our Equinox update, uh, updating and restarting, and there we go. And there we go, that's done. Now our Equinox 800 is updated to the latest software. This has been a tech tip for the MindLab show. Okay, well, that was uh, fantastic there. Thank you very much, Nathan. Uh, uh, pearls of information to help you get your machine operating perfectly. Now, look, each week on the MindLab show, we've got a fantastic lucky live viewer giveaway. Um, and uh, this week, it's no, no exception. Mm. Now, Trevor, what have you got uh, for, uh, well, you've actually brought in a bit of gear for a few of our um, mm. uh, viewers tonight. Yeah, yeah, we've got some hats here, so some high quality Qualtech caps. Everyone loves wearing that and keeps the sun off the eyes and off the head. Um, Qualtech stainless steel coffee mug, which can hold your nice warm coffee for those warm days. Absolutely, maybe a bit of sangria in there as well, it'll warm you up as well. And The uh, choice is yours, the that's tip. for sure. And some stubby holders, which will hold those uh, nice cool cans for you at the end of those warm days. Yeah, well, look, uh, let's give a few of those away again now. Sure. We've got a couple over here. We've got some... Uh... So, uh, for the hat, uh, congratulations, Ian Murrell uh, has won a hat. Ross Goonan, congratulations, you've won a hat as well. Both of you guys were on Facebook. Facebook, there. yeah. And on YouTube, we have Rob Hampton, congratulations, you get a Qualtech hat. And Joel, that's all I have, Joel. Okay, Joel. Congratulations, yep, Joel. And you have won a hat as well from YouTube, which is fantastic. Okay, now look, we, we've got to do a few of these now because we've got uh, one more lot, I think, there that we can. We've got uh, some more here. We'll do this one. Yep. yep. Okay, so for Facebook, uh, these are the stubby holders, and there may be something else in there. I'll see what else we can do um, for you. But um, Joel Edward on Facebook. I'm not sure if it's the same Joel, but we'll check that out. Yep, that's but fine. But yes, congratulations. And Stephen Stackman. Yep, that yep. looks like it. That looks like it, yep. So congratulations to Stephen on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, we have Jace L. Uh, congratulations there. And David Thomas from YouTube. Well, fantastic uh, prizes there. And uh, all thanks to Caltech Manufacturing. Now, look, remember, if we've called your name out tonight during the show, uh, Corey will probably put a link uh, or put a message up in the feed as well. But please uh, hit us with a DM letting us know where you would like your gift sent. And if you're in Adelaide, you could possibly also drop into the store to collect your prizes. Look, Trevor will be back shortly with the first part of our special presentation on the new Goldhawk series coils. No worries, Dave. I'll leave Dave to it. He's the man. Enjoy, I'll see you shortly. Thank you very much. Now look, uh, we're gonna have a look now at our gold discoveries uh, section and uh, uh, new research from the University of Western Australia and the Curtin University has discovered how carbon and metal nanoparticles in the Earth's crust can boost the concentration of gold deposits. Uh, lead author, Dr. Laura uh, Petrina, Petrella said uh, researchers found the circulation of fluids rich in carbon and in metals in the Earth's crust produced economic gold deposits with an enrichment of one to ten thousand fold. In rare occasions gold concentration is so high that large nuggets are formed in quartz veins by processes that still confuse some scientists, the doctor said. Uh, the study explores for the first time the role of carbon in concentrating gold in the Earth's crystal, crustal fluids. It, de it devolves into how carbon may promote the formation of nanoparticles that aggregate to form exceptional gold grains in gold grades, sorry, in veins mined today. The discovery uh, makes us think the way, re rethink the way that metals can be transported in the Earth's crust fluids and opens the scientific community to new ideas regarding the compositions of these mysterious crustal fluids. Mining ultra high grade ore bodies is associated with more energy efficient process as well as a smaller environmental footprint. Both characteristics are essential for a more sustainable mining sector. What an amazing discovery. Now look, it's time to uh, have a look at uh, this week's store offers. Um, uh, here at Miners Den, we continue to deliver the sharpest deals right across the board on the range of MineLab products. 
Simply put, we use our massive buying power to save you a truckload on the equipment you need to be a successful gold prospector or treasure hunter. And uh, this week, uh, we're trying something new. Well, we've been trying it for a couple of weeks. We're trying our uh, auto coupon offers on the MineLab SDC 2300. The Miners Den coupons are free and they're automatically applied at checkout on minersden.com.au. So you head into minersden.com.au, select the SDC 2300 metal detector. It's a fantastic detector from MineLab. Whack in any accessories and things you like. You might want to add an extreme coil from Coiltech. Uh, uh, and uh, that's just about it. Of course, the standard kit from Miners Den includes a free control box cover, a spare set of batteries, and the Miners Den patch lead. All, uh, as with all of our mid to high range MineLab bar gold detectors purchased through the stores, we are offering you a MineLab certified training course. Uh, then head to check out and look, you're just going to have to see what happens. Uh, this is only a trial to see if people like the savings and enjoy getting the best support in the country. Now more than ever, you're paying too much if you're buying from anywhere other than Australia's largest outlet for MineLab world-class metal detectors. Minus in Australia will save you a bundle on your next purchase. Look, we still have the following offers that uh, will continue for a while as well. So we've got the MyLab GPX 6000 offer, uh, uh, look, dollar extra. Uh, so that takes it up to 8000 instead of 7999 Includes all of the standard kit, plus we throw in a spare MyLab battery, a MyLab carry bag, a MyLab GPX 6000 swing arm. So that's about 400 bucks worth of uh, extras chucked in for nothing to help you on your way in your new metal detector and prospecting hobby. The 7,000 uh, offer, well look it's only 9,799 or 10,799 if you uh, want to have two coils with it and it includes all the standard kit. Again, we're throwing in a carry bag, a spare battery, a minus 10 spare skid plate and uh, a clip on pick holder that will go onto the harness with the 7,000. Again, we brought back the Coffee Bush Kid Bundle now. I remember last time I was chatting with you guys? Uh, we'd actually sold out of those and we'd run my lab out of stock on their six inch coils and their pinpointers. Now lucky they've restocked, which means the Coffee Bush Kid Bundle has come back. So we have to have a look at what's included here. The uh, 800 metal detector is there. Uh, the Profine 35 pinpointer is there. The Tiger Blade and Sheath is thrown in as well. We've got a grey finds pouch and of course your prospector scoop. Now the total value in this is uh, just a bit over uh, 2,000. Uh, unfortunately, since we wrote this, uh, we've had a bit of a price increase. So 1599, you're gonna have to really twist the arm of the guys in the store to get that one now because the price is actually 1699. Even still, it is the best deal on an Equinox 800 in Australia and we're currently looking to see if we can uh, work on getting a training session up to keep you guys going. Let's have a look at um, a couple of the coils from uh, the new Goldhawk range, which uh, we're going to come up and we'll bring Trevor back in now just sure. to uh, have am. a look at these uh, coils. Um, so Trevor, uh, first of all, we want to start to have a look at the, the first coil and let's take us through the 10 by 5. 10 by 5, excellent. So fantastic little coil, um, great for um, like um, manoeuvrability, sensitivity, uh, really good at um, lightweight coil for your 6,000, only around about 575 grams. Yep. You said it wrong then. Uh -huh. uh, super sharp on the small nuggets, easy to get in and around. I think this one will be a good all-day searcher. Probably, I would say, Victoria would be the place to use this one. Um, I mean, good for the other coils too, but um, being a bit, little bit more overgrown and possibly a little bit more worked with the other coils, this one can try and find those other targets that the other uh, coils couldn't have found. So. Yeah, well, I think also with all the grass that's up around uh, far north Queensland at the moment, this is going to be another exceptionally good coil to uh, poke in. And it's got that extra little bit of sensitivity on it, which is going to mean you're going to pick up gold that uh, you may not get with uh, some of the yeah, other... Yeah. That are around in the 11 at the moment. Yep. So, yeah, that's um, right. Yep. We had so guy, the gold rush guy, has yep. been taking this co the coils, the whole of them out, uh, and doing some. 
testing for us, but also finding good gold with these things and really proving their worth. Uh, you can see Guy, the Gold Rush guy on YouTube. You can sub subscribe to his channel. And this is a clip on the 10 by five that he used and he found a nice tiny bit with it. All right, try another live one. Radio. I shouldn't take too long to find. on the big bit about a process of elimination. There you go, can you see it? Yeah, everyone saw how deep that is. There you go. Will not show up on the, uh, on the weights, that one. Wow, uh, look, uh, that was very interesting, Trevor. Um, mm. uh, a really, really small find there. Um, and that call's pretty competitively priced at uh, 549 bucks. Yep, yeah, it's a very good uh, price. We think we've positioned it really well. And that, that tiny little nugget shows you the sensitivity of this little 10 by five. You can see that he dug quite down uh, deep. Yep. Uh, for that one, so um, superb effort. So um, the other coil sizes, one of the other coil sizes we have is the nine inch round. Uh, like I said before, this is one of my favorite coils for the GPX 6000. Um, so certainly one, if you're thinking about one of each of them or buy them all, that's fine with us, no yep. problems. Uh, but otherwise the nine inch round is gonna be a really good coil uh, in the gold fields. Um, it's been designed for really good depth extra sensitivity for those smaller nuggets. It can still see the big ones, there's no problems there, but the smaller ones are what can lead to bigger ones and Absolutely. patches. Um, it's around about 700 grams, so it's still quite light, um, and it's really well balanced on the machine as well. So 
people want to use it for all day. It's not a problem. Yeah, well, I just picked up on uh, by all of the coils. Uh, maybe uh, down the track you might think about having a bundle to buy all three coils mm -hmm. uh, and maybe a little discount on uh, all of them because I know people all want to get the, the latest kit to go with their machine mm. and we know that an aftermarket coil certainly gets you... Uh, uh, more gold uh, quite easily. So yeah, I think absolutely. we've got uh, the Gold Rush guy back again. He's getting a fair bit of... Uh, well, he's, he's certainly one of the ones been using them for uh, lately So because um, I haven't been out there. So we've, these have been using the test ones, the production prototypes as well. Actually, a big shout out to the production team back at Coil Tech and our big boss, Natalie Michels, and everyone there has done a great effort to get all of this... Uh, um, um, advertising, all the coils through, the production team has done a fantastic job. We actually satisfied every back order that's on our system. So all of that has been a great effort to get this done, especially with, um, you know, we've had a few challenges along the way, but it's certainly fantastic now and the coils are performing great. So Guy has been out with this nine inch coil as well. Uh, he's had some really good success with it from small nuggets to a little bit larger. But here's another clip for the Gold Rush Guy on the nine inch round GPX Gold Hawk coil. Okay, we'll signal down here. Let's check this out. Right. Seems to be in this. Oh, it's a bit of quartz. Let's see how it's going to have gold on it too. Yeah, can you just see? See? Actually, it's probably got a couple of bits there too. Just on the edge through there. Not too bad.
Okay. Well, Trevor, that was another little nugget, again, found with the uh, Caltech uh, nine-inch round in that case there. Very impressive. Um, fantastic bit of kit to add to your GPX 6000. Yep. Um, and again, that's pretty competitively priced at 579 bucks, really. Um, look, whilst we're here, if anyone's got any questions, please hit us up in the feed and uh, Corey will get them through to us. Uh, we're going to have Corey, uh, Trevor back shortly. Um, and we're going to take a look at the next call, the 14 by 9 Gold Hawk call. Uh, and then we're going to try and answer a few questions a little later on. No worries. I'll leave you to it, Dave. Take a break. And next up, it's time to check out some of the entries for our pay dirt and number two competitions. Well, the response has been huge since we launched a range of competitions and promotions a couple of uh, weeks ago. Let's recap. The Gold Digger Dave number two selfie competition, and boy, number two has been getting out and partying. It's a new competition that uh, we mentioned a couple of weeks ago. It was to co coincide with uh, Gold Digger Dave's clones, number two, heading uh, to all the stores to commence work uh, a few weeks ago. And as part of their job, they've launched a new Facebook photo competition. To be a lucky winner, all you need to do is head into the local Miners Den Metal Detector Superstores in Adelaide, Bendigo, Melbourne and Penrith, or one of the many events that uh, we're attending across the country, get yourself a selfie with number two. After that, why not complete the tagline I went detecting with Gold Digger Dave and you've got 50 words or less to complete that tagline and the competition is going to run until the 31st of August. Now there's three prizes that will be randomly drawn for all the entries. The first prize is a $700 Miners Den gift card, second prize $200 Miners Den gift card and the third prize is a $100 Miners Den gift card. So this is free to enter. All you got to do is uh, complete the tagline and post a post, well post a post, well put a post onto our Facebook page. There's a pin post there that has both that and our pay dirt competition all in the one. Now, Miners Den Cash Bonanza is another competition that is exclusive to Miners Den. There's nowhere else in Australia that you can win the value of your metal detector purchase. So it's automatic entry. If you buy a machine from me, cool, you're in. And that's from the 1st of July. So if you've bought anything from the 1st of July through to now, um, we're going to give you uh, the chance to win uh, the uh, money back basically, on your metal detector. It's minus 10 cash bonanza. Um, so we've done this before. Look, it's very simple. Like I said, uh, head into our stores, um, get yourself a buy detector. Uh, any mine lab detector, you're certainly going to be on the best uh, equipment for hunting for gold or coins, relics, and treasure. Uh, we'll let you know if you're going to win your cash back. There's no need to call up or get stuffed around trying to understand these stupid offers. This is automatic and it's free to enter. Okay, you don't even have to go and get a free holiday and pay out for thousands of dollars of flights to get there to take advantage of it. It's completely free and the total prize pool is over $20,000. There's six prizes across three categories. So Group A is a GPZ 7000, GPX 6000, and a GPX 5000. So there's one prize going out. One person who buys one of those machines is going to win their dollars back in cold, hard cash. Group B has the SDC 2300, the CTX 3030, any of the Equinox series metal detectors, the Gold Monster, Excalibur 2. I'm giving away two prizes there by any one of those machines. And two lucky people are going to score their money back in cold, hard cash. Now, Group C has the uh, lower end machine, so that's the Vanquish uh, as an entry level machines and the Go Find series. All of these, obviously, are mine lab machines. There's three prizes going out the door from there. It's your choice. You can use the cash for a cash refund for a holiday, or you can get that bit of extra gear that you need. No gimmicks of uh, free stuff. As I said, you don't have to travel hundreds of kilometres to take advantage of the offer, and you don't even need to book a flight. You just get the money and you can do what you like with it. No so-called free holidays here, just hold card, cold hard cash. Just uh, you detect the purchase price back, well of course this excludes any accessories you bought. Terms and conditions at minusden.com.au or follow the link in the feed. Will you be the lucky winner who scores Australia's best MineLab service? 
receives the value of your metal detector back in cash and enjoys finding more after attending a Mine Lab Miner's Den Metal Detecting Certified Training Course. Miner's Den Australia, Mine Lab's best value deals. Really, why would you buy anywhere else? Now look, uh, Gold Digger Dave's Gourmet Pay Dirt Photo Competition is uh, still uh, rolling on now. And of course, uh, who wouldn't be a winner with Gold Digger Dave's Gourmet Pay Dirt Photo Competition? On top of the generous uh, mini patches of gold and fine gold that is included in every bag, tub or bucket of Gold Digger Dave's Gourmet Pay Dirt, you'll also find redeemable tokens. Now, of course, this is the last way that you can win is by taking a pick of what you find in your dirt. And if you pan it properly, you know it's the richest pay dirt in Australia. Posting it to uh, our pay dirt photo comp on the pin post at Minus Den, Face, Minus Den Australia Facebook page. Each month I draw a lucky winner who's going to score themselves again. Another gift card to the value of $50 to be used at any Mine Lab, Minus Den Metal Detector Superstore. Minus Den Australia, the Mine Lab experts. I think we had a few images up there of uh, some people who might have uh, dug up some of that stuff. And uh, that's uh, very, very good. Thank you for putting those in. Uh, you are in with a chance of winning again. Gold Digger Dave's Gourmet Pay Dirt. As I continue to tell you, it's no ordinary gravel. Now look, I'm going to bring Trevor back in now and uh, we're just going to have a bit of a chat now about the last one of your calls. Man, that was magical, you just yeah, appeared. Just, just slid in, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so look, uh, we have one more call here. Uh, uh, let's have a look at uh, what we have here with the 14 by 9 call and I'll let you uh, tell everybody the advantage of this uh, unit. So uh, 14 by 9, obviously uh, larger than the 11 inch and the other two coils that Coiltech has. Uh, so great for ground coverage. Still manoeuvrable because so, it's 9 inches wide so you can still poke it in and around areas. Still very sensitive, waterproof uh, to 1 metre. Um, fantastically balanced on the machine. Great for open areas. Our good friend Rick Fisher's over in WA. Uh, you can see him on YouTube as well. He's put some videos out about using these. He's been using and testing the prototype ones. And uh, he's actually found that this is a really good option to search for gold for those patches. And then he'll swap back to another coil type um, to sort of really get the most out of that ground. But this is a really good open ground um, searcher. Um, yep. It can search quite deep and when you're using this type of coil it's going to uh, balance quite well but it's also a great opportunity to hopefully find you a little patch out there uh, because one, one piece of gold is normally not alone and there's usually yep. more around. That's exactly right. And with this call, uh, as you're saying, you get out there, you find your patch with uh, something like this because you can cover that extra ground. You've got yep. a good ground coverage because of the elliptical shape at the maximum depth. So it's a bit better ground coverage than what, say, you get with a ground coil at the maximum depth. True. Once you've uh, scored that patch, get on to one of the smaller coils, maybe the 10 by 5 or the 9 inch. Yep. Clean up all your small stuff and uh, then you might want to go back to, say, a Mine Lab 14 inch coil just to go yeah. over the ground again and see if there's anything a little bit deeper that might be out of reach of some of the, the super sensitive uh, Gold Hawk coils that uh, Coiltech have released. Correct. And, and Mine Lab's got the big 17, so that covers a really nice large size. So, again, not one coil will find all that gold in that patch for you. You're better off at least searching with two two, maybe three coils, if you, it depends how serious you want to go. Um, like Dave said earlier on, maybe we'll do a bundle pack if you buy all three, if someone's keen, we can discuss that later on, but yep. at the moment uh, they're slim pickings because everything's being sold out because uh, it's brand new. People are very excited about getting these um, onto the detector and searching their ground. So we do have uh, another guy, Edgar video, a uh, guy, the Gold Rush guy video on the 14 by 9. Um, he's again been using these um, early because he's been running the prototype and production prototype models to make sure that we've got everything right. And uh, this is some proof for you with his video on the 14 by 9 Gold Hawk. Alright, this one's sounding good. And given I've found gold previously about a foot away, that's what it was like. Oh, sorry, I'll turn the... Uh... Yeah, that's... Oh, that's just music to my ears.
garlic is going to keep off for a good day. <laughs> and that my friends is all she all she wrote for today anyway Okay, now look, um, Trevor, you guys have been making coils for a long, long time, and you make them for a whole range of uh, mine lab machines. Uh, let's just give me a quick rundown on what other products you have, apart from your gold hawk coils there as well, that people might want to use. Yeah, yeah, good point. Um, we've been around since 1996, really. Um, we've been making coils for the mine lab metal detectors for, for many years. Um, we make coils to suit the SDC 2300. We've got three coils to suit that, um, a 10 by five, an 11 inch round, and a 14 by nine round, all fantastic coils for the SDC. Uh, there is also a little adapter kit that goes with that to join the coil on. So you drop the existing coil away and put that on. I think Nathan's done a video on that on your show you? previously. Yes. So yep. um, we also make coils to suit the GPX 5000s and the earlier models of the GPX pulse induction machines. We do an elite series for those. And we have some double D and anti-interference coils. Anti-interference are great for Salt Lakes, power line areas, yep. metro areas. They will cancel out that interference. Uh, we also make coils to suit the Equinox detectors, the 800 and 600, our NOx series. I think you guys are probably the only people who are making those correct. aftermarket coils for some of the coin and relic machines, especially the NOx series. Yes, correct, and, and they've been fantastic. The NOx series of coils have been superb. The 10 by 5 fantastic little coil. Uh, we also do a 14 by 9 elliptical and a 15 inch larger round coil for good coverage, depth, they're all fully submersible, um, they're all fully potted and open web, so quite lightweight and easy to manoeuvre and find some good targets. And we also do some um, coils for the older machines like the E-Track Safari, the Quattro, the Explorer series. We've got a 15-inch round all-terrain coil to suit those um, machines as well. So we have had coils over the years to suit most of the Mine Lab models, uh, but at the moment our flagship range is the Knox coils yep. um, for the Equinox detectors, and now this will be our flagship for the um, GPX 6000, the Goldhawk. Well, if you're out with some of those coin and relic uh, machines and you're wanting to get that extra bit of coverage when you're running over, uh, say, a beach or places like that, uh, certainly a 15-inch coil is a, a great option. Mm. Uh, as you said, there are uh Fully waterproof. Yeah, perfect for the beach, like the 15 inch, because the beach you can have really deep targets, so it's easier digging. Yep. Um, it can go between the surf, in the water, through the crashing waves, into the dry sand quite easily and transition through all of those um, sections of the beach. And there's been some fantastic finds, jewellery, coins. Uh, the little 10 by 5 actually is a really good gold coil as well. We've had some people find some good gold in Victoria with the 10 by 5, uh, with the 800 yes, in gold yep, yep. mode. Um, so yeah, I would say that that one would be a good option if you're going to use gold, mo gold mode on the uh, Equinox 800 and you're looking for another coil. The smaller the footprint of coil, the, the better it can handle mineralisation. It'll be good target separation, great option. Yeah, well, look, uh, that's a that's a good rundown. Um, I might run through a couple of little things now, and throw a couple more videos, and then uh, hopefully sure. we've got some questions. I think there from the viewers, and we'll come back in a little while and see if we can't uh, nail some of those for the viewers. Yeah, sounds great. Right, yeah. Look, uh, next up, guys, uh, we're just going to uh, head off, and we've got the coffee bush kid back uh, with his latest episode of What Have I Found? G'day, folks. I'm the coffee bush kid, and today in What Have I Found? Well, they're big, sometimes round, and they give a thumping signal. And sometimes you just don't know what it is that you've got. But let's have a look. 
Well, this is what today's what have I found finds are. They're all related, but you, you know, these give an absolute thumping signal. And you go, well, are they like a, a draw pull? Are they, your imagination goes wild with what they could actually be. But they are very, very well constructed. They're big, they're heavy, they give a good number. And what they are is part of those. Now they are reins guides. So you'd get the old horse and you'd strap Nettie into the up to the cart and the reins would go through these sections here. Now you can see right now we have varying shapes and sizes. These two I actually got out of the same paddock with a whole lot of other harness, so I know that they were from the same piece of kit. But you can see here this one's broken, so this other one may well have broken. And they've just had one of these, a square shape instead of the oval one, uh, laying around available, so they've just put that on. So as I said, they come in varying shapes and sizes. They give a thumping signal. Um, you could in fact repurpose them as a draw pull or a hooky thing for putting stuff through and hanging off your rafters and your shed or whatever but they are a great little find well there we have it reins guys as i've said they come in all different shapes and sizes some can still have thread on the backs of them uh, some are just the rings or the squares or the rectangles um, they're a great find Good little piece of history to find. Thumping signal in the ground. You won't want to go past it and leave it lying there unattended. Anyway, I'm the Coffee Bush Kid, and that's what we found for the Mind Lab Show. Okay, well look, uh, it's time now to answer this week's viewer questions. And look, the first one comes from Caleb, uh, who asks, is it possible to get sensitivity of a gold monster on the SDC uh, on the SDC 2300 if they made a coil small enough? Look, hi Caleb. Uh, look, that's a great question. Uh, it should theoretically be possible to increase the sensitivity on the 2300 by adding a smaller coil than is currently available. But look, having Trevor in here from uh, Cortec Manufacturing and co-hosting tonight, I thought I might throw this one uh, over to you to answer. How convenient, <laughs> hey? That's fantastic. Um, so as I said before, the SDC 2300, fantastic machine, really sensitive. Um, we do have a 10 by 5 elliptical coil. So that will increase sensitivity because as we go narrow, we're squashing the magnetic field, so to speak, yep. which means we're heightening sensitivity to the smaller targets. So if you are after a little bit more extra sensitivity with your SDC 2300, I would say the 10 by 5 uh, Gold Extreme coil, our Gold Extreme yep. series for the SDC 2300 uh, will be a perfect option. Uh, it'll still balance very well on mineralisation. It runs with the machine no problems. Like I said, there is a little a, a shaft attachment that you put on the SDC to make you use these coils because they are a traditional wing design, uh, a bit different to the knuckle and the elbow yep, yep. that MyLab have. But you drop that existing coil away and you add our coil on, no problems whatsoever. Um, by dropping the coil away, you won't break anything. The, what, we've got full instructions, um, so you won't be worried about any warranty or anything like that. And then once you've got the coils on there, um, you can actually swap between any other of our Gold Extreme coils as well. So do you think if we went, say, to a, a five or a three inch coil uh, to put onto a, an SDC, do you think that would be over sensitive? It might be... Uh, could be, yeah, it could be. I mean, as we start to go really small, we start to, to find it difficult construction-wise to get all of the windings and everything that we need to in there to protect the termination, to protect the windings. So everything can become a little bit hypersensitive. So. I think there is a point where you start to go too small and I think there's also a point where you start to go too big where you, you're losing things. You're not really gaining much yep, more yep. than a certain size. Um, but look, a, the 10 by 5, you've got the beauty of a 5 inch 
narrowness coil and you've got a little bit more coverage with the 10 inch um, the length of the coil so you're going you're not going to find like you're going to want to swing it fast because really small coils can do that as well yep. um, you, when you've got a really tiny coil on there you, you seem to want to swing fast and you might be a little bit outstripping uh, the uh, ground balance uh, capabilities right. of the machine to bring in some noise yeah that's right yeah exactly and um, look uh, whichever one you go for say in uh, one of the extreme coils if you're adding those on uh, Caleb to your machine if you put that 10 by 5 on, uh, you're certainly going to have some advantages over the people who are just using a standard call. Yep, yeah, I would definitely say that. And we've seen the results on that too. Um, I'm sure there'll be YouTube videos and things like that that you can, if you just type in Coiltech Gold Extreme Coil on SDC or something like that, there will be some videos out there that you can watch that hopefully will wet the taste buds a little bit and, and maybe um, go and see the Miner's Den store for a, uh, a, an option on a coil. That's right, exactly. And uh, we always try and remind people, you do need that little attachment kit, as uh, Trevor's been saying there. Um, look, I hope uh, this helps you out a little bit there with uh, that, Caleb. Uh, good, good luck good with good the question. prospecting. Yeah, good luck, Caleb. Okay, look, our next question comes in. Uh, 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 this has uh, come from uh, Terry. Mm -hmm. And Terry's asked us, uh, what is the difference between Auto 1 and Auto 2 on the 6000 call, please? Look, Terry, that's, uh, that's another great question, and thank you for uh, contributing. Uh, the basic difference between Auto 1 and Auto 2 is how sensitive the unit will be. So if you're uh, using Auto 1, you tend to find that you get a little bit more sensitivity um, uh, over what you're doing if you're using the manual settings on a 6000. But if you hit, go into Auto 2, it's again optimised and it actually turns the sensitivity up one or two notches. So that you get a little bit more sensitivity on the small stuff, a little bit better depth. Um, but if you're in the highly mineralised grounding, you may find that Auto 2 could be a little bit noisy for, for what you're getting. Yeah, the Auto also means that the machine will sort of control that sensitivity a little bit for you as well in the ground depending on ground conditions and other noise as well. Yeah that's correct and uh, I did go to my lab and uh, ask one of their experts just uh, exactly how it is and that's exactly what you said there Trevor uh, it's automatically adjusts the sensitivity depending mm. on the, the conditions that you're working in. Mm. Uh, auto 2 is just a little more aggressive than um, what mm. you might get say in Auto 1. Um, so uh, the little noisy people's liking and then yeah, okay you'll benefit dropping back to that auto one thing yep. and having the machine run. Now look, I've been using a GPX 6000 and I was running around in Bendigo on the whip stick uh, and we picked up over an area that absolutely flogged. We picked up like five little tiny pieces of gold. Um, but you know, I was actually running in the settings of manual one. So Ooh. it was the lowest possible low, setting yeah. that you could get. Now look, I'm still getting plenty of small gold and the machine is running absolutely ultra stable while we're doing that. Um, look, uh, I liked it that way. Uh, you can do it a bit different, aren't Absolutely. they? Some people like the the manual really high, yep. uh, auto, or you can drop it back. Uh, for me, I'm a bit like where well, I like running it as hard as I can, so I'll go manual ten, like yep. as high as I can. If it starts to get a little bit noisy, I'll back it off a little bit. Otherwise, we will end up, um, you know, just trying to stick with uh, auto one or auto two. If you're finding it's changing a fair bit, then you, the auto settings are really good too. But um, yeah, whatever suits you, I think is really well, good. That's it. Yeah. So it depends on what your ears are and how you're going there. Um, look, uh, we have another question. That's uh, so. Look, I hope that's uh, helped Thanks, you Terry. out there a little bit. Um, Either uh, that or confused you completely. That's it. And anyway. Good luck when you're out there goalie, whatever, you, whatever you're doing there. Look, I have another Keep question swinging. that's come in from uh, Jason. He's uh, just watched a comparison video between the 5,000 and the 6,000 in the whip sticks. Can the Equinox 800 uh, find gold in the gold fields? And if so, what do the tones sound like? Look, um, hi Jason, the, the Equinox 800 can find gold in the gold fields. You'll certainly enhance your chances if you're using a smaller coil, such Small as the coil. MyLab 6 or the D10x5 from CoilTech. Yep. Um, certainly gives you an improvement because you're targeting that smaller gold. Yep. Targeting that smaller gold, there's a lot more of that out there than what there is football size bits. So um, if you target that, you've got more chance of picking something up there. And for the small gold as well, um, you need more sensitivity. So yes. the smaller we go with coils, you're going to have more sensitivity. And as we go larger with coils, we reduce sensitivity to the small bit and we get better depth. Yes. So if you are targeting uh, small gold with the Nox 800, the Equinox 800, the, the smaller coils will be a, a better option because you'll increase that sensitivity. 
Yep, yep. And look, uh, that uh, always helps you uh, if you're uh, going to find more of that yellow stuff. Uh, the aftermarket all coils all work out. The extra sensitivity you get. Look, the tones uh, you asked about, they're pretty much irrelevant when I'm hunting for gold. Nuggets, I'm always digging everything uh, because that's how you're successful at finding uh, gold nuggets. You don't mm. leave anything in the ground. Uh, gold can be uh, give off different uh, signatures uh, because yeah. it has quartz, Iron stone, yep. Asian, yeah, yep. yeah. All that kind of rock. stuff in with it. Um, and uh, the key thing uh, when using the Equinox out in the gold fields is to work very slowly uh, mm. so that the unit can have a chance to update the changing ground mineralisation and keep the coil as close to the ground as you can. That gets you the best uh, depth penetration. Correct. I think I think one one thing to say with mineralisation, from my experience, is um, sometimes if you're in a higher mineralised area, actually getting that coil really close to the ground can be a negative effect because you're over saturating the ground with the, with the with the magnetic field. So there's lots of mineralisation there. So in some areas, if you're finding it's really noisy when you're close to the ground and it's moaning and groaning because you're struggling to get that balance coming off the ground just by half an inch or an inch can settle that down. You'll still hear some good targets coming through, but it'll minimise that frustration of mineralised ground noise and digging ghost targets. That's right, and I tend to back the sensitivity back if I'm getting, too, yep. getting it too noisy. Yep. I know you uh, like to run a little bit higher, I like to run a little bit lower. But, lower. Yeah, in uh, those areas, perfect. Horses for courses, so yep. long as you're finding gold, That's nothing right. really going to uh, worry too much uh, about that at all. Now, low and slow is always a go, yep. and thanks again for the Great questions. Question. Yep. Look, if you've got a question, then uh, pop it in the feed, or better still, put it onto our regular Saturday morning post, and I'll have a crack at answering uh, some of them live on a future Mind Lab show. Now, look, uh, let's uh, have a look now at one of the latest uh, coin and treasure discovery stories. So, uh, we're heading in now. There's a, a metal detectorist who believes he's found King John's 800 year old treasure. Raymond Cossack, 63, has been waiting for two years to get approval from relevant authorities to begin digging at the uh, Sutton Bridge in Lincolnshire. Wow, I've never been there. Nor have I. I did actually get over and do uh, Detectorville one year when they released oh, the uh, Equinox 800. There were people finding uh, half uh, gold coins and these kind of things over Fantastic. there. Fantastic. So the mechanical engineer says he's 100% certain uh, medieval artefacts uncovered in 2020 at an undisclosed location belonged to the former King of England. Raymond is convinced he has struck gold after his equipment picked up an overwhelming evidence of the controversial monarch's lost treasure. Raymond, uh, a farmer, had uh, begun digging uh, out their findings findings and will submit them to the archaeologists, uh, no, well, that, that that archaeological again. people again, I won't say that again, yeah. <laughs> um, and a Lincolnshire finds officer. Raymond first discovered the site in 2020 after his equipment he, that he had invented began to pick up anomalies in the reading of the magnetic fields. So far he has recovered a wealth of artefacts during a quick sweep with his metal detector, including hammered coins. Well, that'd be a great oh, score. One of my, one of my uh, favourite things. Hopefully one day I can find a hammer. Absolutely. Coin. It'd be on the bucket list there. Mm. Um, some uh, blots, nails, an eyelet, and even metal buckles. Buckles, yep. Okay, well, look, uh, I think, uh, I think we from got some there, more winners, yeah. we might have some more winners coming through now. That's pretty good finds. That's uh, yeah, excellent finds. Let's mm. have a look at who we've got there. All right, so we've got some of these lovely stainless steel mugs to give away. They do, uh, work, they do work for coffee, but they also work for lots of other liquids yes. as well to keep you warm. Yes, whatever you choose to put in them is fine with us. Um, so, uh, on Facebook, we've got Karen Rogers. Congratulations, you have won a mug. Well uh, and Mariana Agoulis. Hopefully I've said that correctly, Mariana. Um, congratulations on Facebook there. You guys have won a, a Cortec mug. And on YouTube, we have Paul Clayton. Congratulations. And Steve Brown. Please send a message through to the Miners Den team and uh, let them know that you're in the house to get this prize. That's right. And yeah, give him your address. Send a DM and uh, Corey will soon look after you. Now, look, we've, he brought in heaps of stuff. Trev, uh, right, let's, look, uh, let's keep going while we're away. stuff away. All right. So we have uh, a hat here for John Ducker or Ducker on um, Facebook, it looks like, yes. Yes. Um, Simone Wilson um, on Facebook, on YouTube, we've got Jenko's Gold. Please let us know if you're in the house. And another mug for Guy Hamilton and 
Paul Rolls on YouTube. So Guy Hamilton, you're on Facebook, I think, and Paul Rolls on YouTube. So thank you very much for joining us tonight and uh, hopefully those uh, you drink from them and wear them proudly. All right, now look, um, uh, this comes to the time uh, we've uh, done our normal viewer questions. Uh, uh, some people have uh, got some questions uh, come up for you, Trevor. Sure. Uh, I'll let you deal with this one. All right, so Donna Buxton. Hello, Donna. How are you? Um, she's asked, uh, what coil would be best for the Victorian goldfields on the GPX 6000? Well, um, I would say every gold hawk coil that you can buy would be perfect. However, the best one, I think, would be the 10x5. Um, it's a small little coil, really easy to manoeuvre, fantastic seven, uh, sensitivity. Um, I would think that you would definitely hear the really um, sub-gram nuggets that are at good depths with that coil. Um, what do you think, Dave? 10x5? Yeah, by five? I think 10x5 would be the best one if you're going to be running around Vic. Um, it's giving you that sensitivity, and like we say, the elliptical coils, easy to poke in around those tight to get out areas. Uh, sure to get you some more gold. Uh, not that you won't get everything with, a, with the other coils, but mm. um, different coils have different windows, as Correct. you said, yep. and that leads to you getting to more gold. The other thing is, there's not as many people out there that have a, um, uh, a an aftermarket coil, so there's yeah. not as much ground that's been covered with these. So you yeah. really, you nearly exponentially uh, increase your chances of finding uh, that small stuff with a, an aftermarket coil. It's reopening up these gold fields. If you've been to the area with a an 11 inch standard coil or one of the mine lab coils and you have um, been successful you've gotten a number of little targets to big targets I would recommend going straight back there with um, these gold hawk coils once you get one because they're, they're brand new um, out in the field so not many people have had them guy I don't think he's been around everywhere yet so right. there'll still be plenty of targets out there for people but yeah certainly the um, the gold hawk 10 by 5 would be a good one for you Donna I hope that helps you there. Now, look, I've got one up here on the screen here, actually, uh, Trevor. Um, mm, mm. Uh, this one came from uh, our resident, uh, he, well, he gives us all the information and puts the links in the feed for you, Corey. So, Good on you, Corey. So, Corey's asked, uh, now, do these coils differ internally from, say, the standard 5000 and Elite coils? Mm. Um, uh, are they flat wound or uh, flat wound, spiral wound or bundle wound? Mm. And um, uh, do they have any problems with them? And if so, well, any... Um, no problems. PCBs, sorry. PCBs. <laughs> PCBs, if they have any PCBs in them. And if so, what do they do? Sure. Uh, if you're allowed to tell us about that. I can tell you as much as I can, um, but uh, the coils are a bundle wound coil. Okay. Um, uh, they're not a flat wound because of the type of windings that we need to put in them. Um, the flat winding isn't as applicable. Yep. Um, they, the warranty is still covered. Um, so if you use our coils, it does not void your warranty with MindLab. They are MindLab approved. Yep. Um, on the coil itself, there is a small, I'm just looking down at the yep, TV yep. so I know I'm pointing in the right spot. There is a label here that says MindLab approved. Uh, so that means that MindLab engineers and the team at MindLab have looked over everything to make sure that they are happy with the way that they operate. Yep. And we got all the ticks, um, so everything is fully MindLab approved, so there's no issues with warranty. Um, and that is a question that Craig Jensen Jenkins asked, so I'm, I'm probably yep. answering that, but he asked about is the warranty still valid uh, for the detector, and yes it is. And our coils have a two-year warranty as well. Um, Inside the coils, there are connecting PCBs um, that we have inside the coils. Um, some of these are devices that MindLab require in the coils. Uh, I can't tell you too much about what they do, but there are PCBs in there. It helps them sort of communicate with the, the main control box, basically. Correct. It, yeah, it, it, yeah. It's part of the uh, MindLab approval, and yep. they, it actually is a, a communication as well. Yep. Uh, it makes sure that the coils are original and not counterfeit or anything like that as well. So it is a security device. Look, uh, Corey's also uh, said he's got a lot of salty ground in his uh, home gold field out at Warwick in Queensland. Um, so I'm not sure what we can say about this. Are we likely to see any double D? Gold Hawk coils? Well, maybe. Okay, maybe. There you go. Um, I think the, the 14 round double D is, is working well, so in salty ground that's certainly an option and uh, obviously for the interference, I think there's a channel on the machine for interference areas yep. with the double D as well. Um, double D Gold Hawk coils, they would look really good, you never know what the future holds. So, maybe there will be, but maybe there won't. Maybe. Maybe. 
is the answer to that one. Uh, look, uh, thanks for thanks for all those uh, questions and things like that. And uh, look, Corey says, look, keep up the great work. So obviously he's looking forward to getting out there and having yeah. a run uh, Good on you, Corey. with that. Um, now, look, uh, we're coming up to uh, the time in the show where it's time to go home, Nelly. I think so. We've probably run a little bit over time, but there's plenty of good information that we've been able to talk to everyone about. Absolutely. Now, look, uh, thank you for coming in. You've no uh, taken the time to come in, uh, join us in the Adelaide store. This is the first time we've done one of these uh, co-hosting things, and thank you. I guess it's probably worked fairly well. Pretty successful. You know, hopefully everyone's enjoyed it. Congratulations to all the people that have won some uh, nice kit here, and thanks for having me on, Dave. Um, you do a great job. You put a lot of effort into the setup and making sure that this is out every week, uh, nearly every week. Nearly but, every week. You yep. know, uh, you've got a lot on at the moment, so we do appreciate what you do with all your stores. Um, go in and see the Miner's Den team in any of the stores for any of your Coiltech gear. Uh, again, big shout out to the whole Coiltech team out there. We do appreciate everyone's support. You can hit us up on Facebook. We've got a Facebook page, YouTube page. Check out all our Coiltech links through there and on our website too. We've got plenty of cool information and lots of um, latest discovery stories and that out there as well. So thank you, Dave. Appreciate it. No, that's great. And thank you too for coming in. And I'm sure it's uh, been interesting for everybody who's looking at uh, a new coil uh, for the uh, uh, Mine Lab metal detectors. The Gold Hawk coils are uh, certainly the 6,000 is the way to go. Minus 10 stores have got some in stock. If you've ordered them for us, well, actually, we've got a little bit of time left because if you order them before midnight because they're not released till the 28th, we're still throwing in free shipping on uh, anything ordered before midnight tonight. So, let's have a quick look uh, now uh, before we go. Uh, sneak peek at uh, next week. Uh, we've got a Coffee Bush kid back. And uh, hi, Coffee Bush. I uh, didn't catch you earlier in the evening. I knew you were on the feed. Uh, he's going to have a, a great new segment. And uh, what, I found, what have I found again? There's a tech tip coming up from uh, Nathan. We're going to give away some more gear. And there's lots, lots more. But thank you for watching the Mind Lab show. I'm Gold Digger Dave. I'm Trevor from Qualtech. We'll see you sometime out in the fields in the future. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, and share. Tune in next week for another episode of the Mind Lab Show.